Okay, my beautiful baby, how's it going? On this gorgeous, beautiful, God bless day in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. I just got um, three stitches on my face, so thank you, Creator God, for speedy, speedy healing, okay? And the mother effing doctor was just pressing hard on my right cheek, taking all the filler out. I just looked at my right cheek and it's like, all the filler is out. It's like a balloon. And then all of a sudden it's just, uh, so like he just was just pressing so hard on my effing left cheek. Now like, now I'm just like gonna have to go book an appointment, get my fillers. Ugh. Okay, anyways, let's get into it, my beautiful babies. Thank you, God, for medical universal health care. Thank you for doctors. Thank you, Ancestor Red Cloud for my Lakota First Nation, who's like the best medicine man to ever exist in this planet. So thank you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Let's get into it, my baby. This is a special pick a card for... How's your boo thing feeling about you? How does he feel about you deep down in his heart space? He doesn't tell Brenda down at the cash app store. He doesn't tell Henrietta down at the pawn shop. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> he doesn't tell Takesha, his nosy ass sister. The only mother effa he tells is the good old Lord when he lays his head down at night. I was gonna say a bottle of tequila, but <clears throat> today's not the day. Why? Uh, why do you have three cards? Okay, you guys have more cards than everybody else. Mrs. Little Miss Special, steal the spotlight. Pile number one. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Baby, how's your fizz and Okay, so first and foremost, you are represented from these two cards I chose because this is all about how your person sees you. He sees you as a level up um, better than the rest. He sees you. Did you guys ever hear that Tina Turner song? Simply the best, better than all the rest. So this is how your boo thing feels about you. He sees like out of all the chicks that he ever banged or folded, wham bam, thank you ma'am, sayonara kind of thing, or dated, married, engaged, whatever. He sees you as like the best one yet, okay? So this is how he sees you. You're older than him, is what I'm hearing. So that's just how it goes sometimes. Like, sometimes you just sprinkle that billion dollar cootie cat on these young boys and you snatch their soul. You can't help it, okay? You're talented. <laughs> so yeah, so <clears throat> he also sees you as very compassionate, loving, empathic. Um, perhaps sometimes to a fault. So you are your person to be a Capricorn, Aries. And this is an opportunity of love, you guys. So this is definitely an opportunity. Oh yeah, so you did choose this gorgeous pink donut, child. Gorgeous pink donut, okay? So you did choose that, just so y'all know. Because for the cover, you wanna like pick what you chose, right? So yeah, you are your person to be Capricorn, Aries. This is an opportunity. He does see you as an opportunity of love. This is an opportunity of love. So it's a lot of free will at play here. So you have a lot of free will, whether you want to take this opportunity or not, either you win or you learn. Either, let, let me say that again, either you win or you learn, okay? Because all of our life is unfolding right before us, one step at a time. 150 doors, 150 different alternate realities, okay? So this is a lot of free will that's at play right now. All right, let's see what else the good old Lord. Thank you, Creator God and Ancestors, for all the messages that come through on this beautiful reading for my ba beautiful baby watching. So yeah, this guy with this Capricorn, Rick Ross boss, like this guy is like definitely some big dick energy. This guy can be an owner of his business. Um, very high up CEO management, um, real estate, he just owns whatever he does. He's very good at money. King of Pentacles should be here, but this is like King of Pentacles. So your person's really money oriented, career oriented and focused, okay? So in the current energy, my beautiful baby, with everything, I feel like both of you guys are workaholics to a fault. And you guys definitely are not taking time out to really, both you guys, this is not only him, but both you guys are not taking time out to really rest and relax and just go lay out in the sun or just like have a good old spa day, vacation day. You know, get out of the rat race for one day and just go rest in a spa, a mud spa or something like that. Like go to a brothel and hire someone to give you a happy ending. Do something because I'm seeing that you guys are not resting. I'm seeing that you guys are just like both go, 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 go to the point where you guys cannot silence your minds. There's no silence. And in the silence, that is where we always find answers. And ooh, 
at least twice yesterday, I was sitting in the silence of my gorgeous heaven, my home, because I created my heaven on earth, which is my home. And I sit, I lay you guys in this iron cap in. I will lay in my bed and be like, this is the life that I worked so hard in my life for to build. And I'm living my dream life that I've always dreamt of. And I enjoy it and I love it. Thank you, God. I will literally lay in my bed and be thanking God for blessing me with this beautiful life because I've come so far. So I feel like you guys need that namaste time for yourselves where you can just lay down. And in the silence is where you find all your answers. You don't need to go to Buddha, a Buddha. You don't need to go to a psychic medium. You don't need to go to a counselor. Everything you ever need in your life, you guys, is yourself. Your greatest teacher is your spirit, your soul, your higher self. So please sit in the silence and relaxed and be comfortable enough with yourself to just let anything come within your, your third eye. Just flow, flow state. Just go with the flow. Just go with the flow, okay? That's when my best ideas happen is when I'm like, non-attachment, I don't give a F. And that's when the best like ideas come. <clears throat> so yeah. All right, let's further get into what's going on here. Like, why are you guys not together? Yeah, workaholic syndrome. Ooh! you guys oh my gosh oh my god okay this is so gorgeous like you guys ah oh, bitch okay this guy's gonna come towards you if he hasn't already come towards you i guys i kind of feel like you guys were are married are you guys have something great going on ten of pentacles is my favorite minor arcana in the whole entire world okay first of all first and foremost this is my favorite in the whole entire world minor arcana because this is all about marriage legacy having five babies together not using protection not using birth control because you guys love each other so much where you're just like well if we have a baby then it's good because you guys have either you live together or you guys did just live together and you guys are gonna live together again okay so perhaps you guys just had a little bit of a pause uh, maybe you guys sat each other down you were like okay let's go on a break i'm going to palm springs you go to fort lauderdale let's split up for two weeks fuck you let's break up so maybe you guys just had a little quick pause in your guys's union but this guy couldn't find nobody like you like remember i said you're the one you're the piak you're the uno like nobody's better than you like out of all the choices you're the best remember i said that right in the beginning it's true and I feel like he's going to come back knocking on your door either today or tomorrow or next week. Really, really soon, you guys. And he's going to be like, baby, take me back. Can you please take me back? Because out of all the options, I went and checked it out. I went swam in some biatches, ah, wops. And it was just like not nothing compares to you. Like nobody on a soul level, nothing. Nobody compares to you. I love you. Can we start over? Can I marry you again? Like, can we get engaged? I want to come home. So yeah, this guy's realizing like you're the one, he loves you. And this is another opportunity of love. And sometimes both you guys are very much mirroring each other. So sometimes you guys both psych each other out and you think like, um, oh my gosh, like this love is so amazing. This love is so strong. Like sometimes you guys both like psych each other out for this new beginning. Like it can be, it can be beautiful again. This can be great again and it will be. You just really have to think positive about it, you guys. Remember, you are the co-creator of your life. You are the co-creator. You can make your own heaven on earth or your own hell. But you guys do have another opportunity of love here with this person, the, this man who's definitely obsessed with you and thinks that you're his Beyonce. Like you're dripped in gold to this guy. You're like mm, his Beyonce, literally, like nobody compares to you. So don't psych yourself out. Don't overthink it because you're just going to self-sabotage. Okay, what else do we have here? You know what song I'm getting? You and I by uh, John Legend. You know that song? Out of all of the girls, you're my one and only girl. Wow, you guys, look at that. Okay, so right now in the current energy, it's like he's kind of like going through this emotional hiccup with you. Like he's kind of feeling like I am not taking any action because I'm emotionally unavailable because I'm trying to figure out my next steps. And... I know we're not done. I know we, are, we have so many unfinished business together because we love each other and we have to like get married. She's my person, I love her so much. So he, have, he feels like he's kind of emotionally unavailable to you right now because you guys are in this little hiccup of a time, which is normal, it happens. And, but he does plan to come towards you in the near future, gonna make his direction, his choice. He's gonna let down his garden. He's gonna come towards you and he's gonna be like, baby, let's be together. Whoa, look at this. This is so beautiful, you guys. Check this out. Opportunity beckons. What the fuck did I just say over here? This is an opportunity of free will choice. I can't make this up. 
What did I say? Like, what did I say? This is a stable opportunity that he's going to propose to you. Like, can we start all over? Um, I love you so much. All I do is think about you at nighttime. Because every time I close my eyes, I think of you. Who is that? Brian McKnight? Yeah, so every time he closes his eyes, he thinks of you. He wants to marry you. You're his Beyonce. You're dripped in gold. You're that walking goddess. Nobody compares to you. And this is an opportunity of love. Like I said, this is a free will choice. The only one who can really mess this up or not want to do it is you. Okay, so that's it. Let's see what your auntie's up in heaven, your grandmother up in heaven, your grandpa up in heaven have to say about this guy. Thank you, creator God, for these messages full of unconditional love. This is, yeah, this is pretty dope. Like, this is like a normal, beautiful love story, you guys. Oh, and perhaps you guys were just like based on friendships. Maybe you guys were like um, neighbors. Ooh, we have Ice King. I love the Ice King because that's someone who's rich, mature, amazing. Um, yeah, you guys are going to have another go around here. Maybe you're blonde, but you guys are going to start dating again. You guys are going to start act like a brand new couple again. Kind of like that J-Lo and Ben Affleck. Hey, you guys, two days ago, uh, J-Lo came out with an interview and she said she wanted to die. Like she wanted to kill, like really like die after her and what's his name broke up the last time. Okay. So then we have twin flames, like popped right out. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have karma triangle. So there is somebody in the mix. There's somebody in the mix and perhaps that's what's really this. You guys are in this little short break or whatever. And your person's emotionally unavailable. For some of you, this will resonate because he is getting out of something with someone who was a karmic who could be, you know, who could be represented from this blonde female. And so he is getting out of something. Perhaps you guys were married long time ago or you guys were in a relationship first broke up and then he started dating somebody else. But now what I'm seeing is he wants to get out of this karmic relationship. He wants to really wrap up whatever needs to be wrapped up in this karmic relationship because he realizes since leaving you that nobody compares to you. Nobody compares to you. There's not one person that compares to you. So he is in this relationship that he wants to get out of right now and he is going to come towards you. He is going to come towards you and he's going to offer this opportunity. Look, I've left whoever I was dealing with because she wasn't my thing. And this breakup that we did have was honestly, I'm happy it happened because it made me realize that you, you are the one. You've always been the one. And it took me leaving you to really realize like there's nobody like you. So that's why this is all up to you, baby. This is like your opportunity. This is your decision if you want to take him back. Because look at I see a, a, a really changed person. Like I see him coming back changed, respecting, like knowing your worth after being with this other broad. Yeah, so it's gonna be all good. That karmic relationship has served its purpose. It never was, and it was not anything, if anything, okay? Why? Because you are his twin flame, because you guys are high-end soulmates, and because you, you have always meant the best to him. It just took him going off and doing his thing for a quick minute, realizing that, wow, she has always been the one. So he is coming back, and you guys are going to have an opportunity of another go-round, okay? Another long-term love, and this time, it's going to stay. I do see that you guys were in a relationship long time ago, and with this self-forgiveness card, it's just like really asking you to really forgive move forward and just know that it was always you it always has been you okay so let's get some feeling cards out of all of the curls you're my one and only curl so yeah it's always been you it's always been you it's always been you yeah that's such a beautiful song that john legend song oh my gosh i'm just sweating so much okay what do we have here I woke up and you're supposed to be here. We are supposed to be together. So this is what he's feeling about you. I woke up and you are supposed to be here. We are supposed to be together. So like, bitch, you're supposed to be laying in his bed. This is what he thinks. You know what I mean? Sorry, just taking a drink of my tea here. So... Yeah, so this is what he thinks. Like, we're supposed to be together. What's that song by Drew Hill, Sleeping in My Bed? That's another song I want you to check out. Drew Hill sleeping in my bed, okay? So this is what he thinks about whoever's sleeping with you, okay? All right, what else do we have here? I only want you, yes, I love you, wait for me. I only want you, yes, I love you, wait for me. So yeah, he's pretty much just crying out, wait for me. I love you, you're the one, you're the piak, you're the uno, like I said. This guy just loves you. So this is him being salty and mad at you. Whenever this comes up, it's like um, he's being a prick. He's being a dick and he's kind of being a, a tad bit abusive. 
Like he gets mad. Thank you for, thank you for washing my shit streak drawers and not judging me. So any, you, this card pops up when he knows that you know everything about him, his bad habits, um, whether he snores when he sleeps, what, if he's lactose intolerant, if he's just like has some kind of stupid ass, you know, like his dumb ass habits or whatever, or his biological makeup with his body. And you know all this about him and he just like really loves that you accept him for who he is and you know every little thing about him and you don't judge him. So yeah, you guys really know each other like, like a lot. You guys are like best friends. You are the one. No one holds the flame to you. I love you. How much? Okay, this is the second time, you guys. We got you are the one. No one holds the flame to you. I love you. Why? Because you guys are twin flames. You guys are uh, the cream to the coffee, the 50 50. Actually, a whole person with a whole person, 100%, 100%. And yeah, like I said, no one dick down on a Sunday afternoon. So yeah, this guy's in heat. He really wants to take you down to Pound Town. And I'm going to get one more feeling card. Too much damage. Move on now. Wow, so this guy, yeah, this guy's really in his feels about you. Okay, let's see what else Creator God and the Ancestors have to say about this relationship. What do you, how's, what's the outcome of this relationship? The outcome. Power. You got the power of me. My love. So Power by Kevin Gates. Check it out. Download it. Pirate it. That is the whole entire song thesis of the whole entire essay song. It's Power by Kevin Gates. Check the lyrics out. Because no matter what, at the end of the day, this guy tries to deny your love as much as he can, but you have that power over him. You're the one woman who has the power over him. Then we have Moving On. Opportunity. This is free will choice. Very much so a free will choice pile. You got the power of transgression. Ooh, so this is alchemy. So this is another opportunity card, you guys. Transgression. This is an opportunity. You guys have their free will choice. This is a powerful boss ass bitch. This card is super beautiful, super positive, because it's like a shed snaking its skin. Shed snaking its skin? What the f? A snake shedding its skin, going into the next revolution, trying to get transgression and alchemization, and this card makes me want to starve myself, okay? This card 100% makes me want to starve myself. Myself. <laughs> because honey ugh, it's winter time and I take advantage and for your damn straight I eat okay I eat in the winter time but in the summertime I don't because like I'm really skinny I do eat in the summertime because I lose a lot of calories because I'm always in the playing sports and shit like that and then at the bottom we have Oh, the J Joe DiMaggio and the um, Marilyn Monroe card, which is trials. This card will pop up when your person unconditionally loves you and you are the one for him and there's nobody above it. So, what the fuck? Okay, this guy loves you. Can you just fucking log off here and just understand he loves you and you have the power over him and it's your opportunity? Honestly, like, are you kidding me? Really? Is this really the last card? Joe DiMaggio card? I'm absolutely obsessed with Marilyn Monroe. And this really sums up this whole reading. You have the power over this guy. No matter as much as he tries to walk away from you, you are the one, you are his twin flame, you have the power over him, okay? Like, I say less, say less. I'm just gonna end it here. <laughs> so, I got three stitches today. So, thank you, Creator God, for all the healing on our beautiful faces. And thank you our, for our beautiful universal health care. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so, my beautiful, gorgeous love, who chose this gorgeous um, chocolate donut. It's chocolate, right? This is your pile. This is how your boo thinks, feeling about you deep down in his heart space, that he doesn't tell Henrietta down at the tire shop, Takesha, his annoying sister, Leonard, his neighbor, <laughs> uh, the only motherfucker he tells is the bartender one tequila bottle down in mexico okay all right my gorgeous beautiful baby let's get into it i'm so happy and excited to be here today i love y'all thank you for always the comments make sure to check out my website cherishlovebear.com um definitely read a couple blogs check out what kind of reader i am i am going to add a lot of reviews on my website so just be patient with me because yeah, been busy. Okay, let's get into it, my love. So you are represented from, ooh, 
<laughs> you are represented from this beautiful, fine ass beauty. This is the pleasure card. This is telling you if you just want to use this guy for his body, if he has that big dick, and if you want to use him, use him. But he definitely sees you as like, take me to ecstasy without taking ecstasy. You know that song, um, 50 Cent? Speaking of 50 Cent featuring the game, this is how we do. Definitely Google the game's <laughs> selfie, okay? <laughs> the game in his underwear selfie because this is the way that guy sees you, except you're the girl version. Or you can be the guy version, but this guy definitely sees you as the most gorgeous, beautiful, love maker, love making machine in the world, okay? He's very sexually attracted to you and he sees you as a pleasure machine. As a pleasure machine, if that makes sense. Like, you're like his dream blow up doll <laughs> for life, okay? So, what do we have here? We have Moon, the Numinous, Mystery. Yeah, that's Mystery. And Virgo. So, you or your person can be a Virgo, or else you guys can just have the personality of always working out, always aesthetics, always scheduling, planning, perfectionist. Um, really loves being self-critiqued. So you can just take on, have a lot of Virgo South Node also, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Oh, you guys. Um, break my heart. Say love me again. <laughs> I was just listening to that song. I would sing louder about my neighbors at home and I don't want to fucking like be annoying. But yeah, so I don't know. Like I'm seeing that you guys have like just have it going on okay so you guys can also be super um psychic also super psychic also i just feel like in the current like energy that you guys are in with your person like i feel like things are not going as planned like i feel like in the past you guys had a really beautiful start i feel like your guys' relationship was going super great i feel like you guys were actually going in the right direction for a relationship but as time went on, as time went on, I just feel like, I just feel like tendencies try, like, in the, okay, in the current energy from what I'm seeing, I just feel like tendencies are kind of leaning on the more lax side, like, I feel like, um, there's a lack of vision for where this relationship's going on his part, so I feel like, there's a lack of vision of where this relationship is going. What exactly is this and where is it going on his part? But there is a resurgence though that's going to happen. I know in the beginning of your guys' relationship, it was really amazing. It was really awesome. It seemed like a very great opportunity and you know, it was going that way and it was like all sunshine and rainbows in the beginning, like anything. But usually when something's so amazing and just like fireworks and just like off the heezy in the beginning, usually it's just kind of like burns out right away. That's not all the time, but just sometimes. So I do see a resurgence though that you guys are going to reach out to one another. You guys might try, communicate and see like, hey, what's been good, what you've been up to. Um, I've been thinking about you. So I do see some sort of communication coming forward. Wow, you guys, we got the hangman twice. So Pisces in the house, Pisces, sun, moon, rising. <laughs> Yeah, so, wow. And then we have the Six of Swords, you guys. So, unconditional love. We have the Empress. This is you. This guy sees you as just, like I said, like, having his baby very fertile, like, very fertile, motherly. You can be a Cancer, because we also have that Moon card. So, you can be very mature. So, yeah, like I said, the battery just died. So, like I said, he absolutely sees you as his baby mama. Like, he sees you as definitely having five kids with him, sometimes ten. <laughs> because of how effing gorgeous you are like like i said you're like a pleasure machine to him this guy is very sexually attracted to you but he doesn't have any direction of what exactly is this why do i feel like this and where is this going like this guy's really confused but there is so much like crazy ass sexual tension with him and not only that but he just definitely feels like you're home because of like he feels like you are just like this beautiful, perfect wife, like this beautiful, perfect wife, but at the same time, a freak, like lady on the streets, freaking the sheets. That's exactly how you are. So it's just like absolutely enamored with you, doesn't say shit and doesn't know what to do with you because it's just like you came out of nowhere, hit him like with the, the left hook, knocked him off his feet. And it was just like, he was just in love. So you're just this beautiful powerhouse of like home. 
beautiful Russia home and it's just so gorgeous to him. So he does want to try like bring you back into his life somehow, but he doesn't, like I said, there's a lack of direction. He doesn't know where he's going. He doesn't like, it's just, he has a lack of direction on what's exactly what to do with this relationship. And perhaps it's because you guys ain't really communicating. You know what I mean? So let's grab some more feeling cards with his lack of direction ass, you know, a lot of like sitting on the pot, you know, a lot of like shit or get off the pot. This guy most 100% definitely is just sitting there like dwindling his fingers like bruh make <laughs> shit or get off the pot like he doesn't know what direction this relationship's going so let's get some feeling cards i've never loved anyone as much as i love you i see my whole life in your eyes i love you yeah this guy definitely unconditionally will always love you like no matter what even if you go off and you go find like the love of your life like this guy will always marry you like marry you love you too much damage move on now just marry me fuck <laughs> what do i mean what did i say this guy has such a lack of direction but yet he's just so in love with you so obsessed with you his little pleasure machine i'm a catfish i'm a catfish so he does have a little bit some self-esteem issues don't give up what the f you promised me don't give up on us you promised me Wow, you guys, see what I mean? This guy has such a lack of direction. My ex is binding on me. She won't leave. So he is dealing with someone from his past whenever this card comes up. And then dick down on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, this guy has sexual fantasies about you. This guy's all about you. This guy's very sexually attracted to you. This guy's sexually driven. He's in heat. Like he's always has a boner when he looks at your pictures. He's always in heat. He just wants to rip your clothes off right now in this very minute you're watching this. Very sexually attracted to you like crazy. This guy's definitely like horned up <laughs> very sexually attracted to you you guys this is crazy okay um let's see what your ancestors and creator god have to say about this relation what's the f okay do you did you i can't make this is a sex card this is sex this is like very very sexually in heat like very in heat for you and it just flew right out like y'all just see it see this is the first card that just flew right out this guy's definitely beating off to your pictures tonight gifts so five languages of love he can like show you love through gifts true love or you can be like a gifter person so you might be older than him with that mature woman card you might have black hair union and then what else do we have brunette female beauty queen so this is you you're gorgeous you're beautiful anybody would be blessed to cream pie in you and knock you up anybody would be blessed to knock you up because then that's for life you can go marry five people but fuck marriage no one cares about marriage anymore um what really is a binding for somebody is having kids with them this guy really is going to knock you up he's not going to be fucking you only for pleasure it's going to be he's going to be making love like the old-fashioned guy to impregnate you so if you do guys do link up and make beautiful passionate love it's going to be a focused goal orientated like really want to impregnate you because he wants to get stuck with these genetics oh my gosh and we have family right there at the, we have family that just popped out you guys like so yeah this guy definitely wants to plant his seed in your womb wants to have babies with you and um that's all he knows like remember how i said he doesn't know where this is going he's directionless all he knows is that if he were to make a family if he were to make love to somebody for the rest of his life if he were to wife somebody for the rest of his life if he were to be with someone for the rest of his life, um, it would be you. That's all he knows. Lack of direction, very much so, but at the, all he knows with his lack of direction ass is that if he had to choose anybody in this one whole entire world, it would be you. Over and over again, every day. Why? Because he's just so damned sexually charged from you. And I have a feeling his, your guys' ancestors are very on purpose sexually charging each other for each other to bring you guys together. Like, you guys can't keep each other's... Um, and they do that. They do do that. So... All he knows with his directionless ass is that you're the one. Why? Because like you are like his like um, ice spice. <laughs> okay, you're his J-Lo in her prime. Like you're that Jenny from the block. All right, let's see what else. Yeah, beautiful ancestors and creator. Yeah, this guy's very sexually charged. Very sexually charged. Really wants to make love to you forever and ever for the rest of your guys' life. We have truth, Popo power yeah that cootie cat that you have in between them legs baby that has power over him like you got that cootie cat power 
over him out of anybody so i don't know what you do but hey you're doing it good we have fidelity so yeah there's like with that third party the chick whatever some some broad that he's dealing with is definitely in the mix but that's because you you guys obviously ain't talking so all we know is that this guy absolutely loves you and just wants to lick you from the foot, from your, the bottom of your feet to the all the way to your beautiful lips. And he just wants to lick you like cream pie, like just wants to lick all of your body like he absolutely loves you. So let's get some more beautiful cards. Yeah, this guy wants some truth. You guys are going to definitely read some truth, some beautiful lovemaking, some pillow talk. Um... Maybe tell you, tell me, like, tell me. Oh my gosh, what's that song, you guys? <gasps> Usher! Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the song that, for your whole entire reading, you guys. This is the song you have to download right now. It's called Tell Me by Usher. It's all about, like, oh, it's such a beautiful song, you guys. Please just download it. It's called Tell Me by Usher. That's exactly what I'm getting from this. This guy absolutely loves you, wants to make love to you forever. You're, like, his baby. And plus, you're just the naturally most gorgeous woman in your state and province. Bite the pillow. Yeah, so he's just, like, this is what he wants to do. Bite the pillow. Y'all better be 21 plus watching this reading, okay? And one more. What does he want to do? This is a very, this is like the most sexually charged pile I've done in forever. Missionary, looking into your eyes, holding your hand and making love and impregnating you. Like making all that powerful love making that every beautiful love making song in this world was made for. And then we have <laughs> Eat You. He wants to eat you like the last supper until you have like 10 orgasms. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Ride it, my pony, my saddles. So yeah, that's what he feels about you, my love. Um, his next actions are definitely he's going to communicate because he doesn't know what's up. So yeah, just be cool, cool with it. Just let it come gradual. He's definitely super, super, super in love with you. So that's all that matters. Let's see his next actions. Gift. Yeah. Okay. So we got gift card twice. This guy's going to Christmas is coming. If not, all my readings are timeless. This guy's going to come towards you with a gift. Hey, let's go to like the movies. So just discuss it there because he is dealing with somebody else, a third party, but you honestly, she don't light a flame to your ass. Okay. She's like a piddly ass little gas match and you're like the whole entire motherfucking volcano. Okay. So he's going to come towards you with a gift and just go with it. Just roll with it. Okay. So, I love you so much, my baby. I love you so much, and I'll see you next time on the Beautiful Love Channel. Hi, my beautiful baby. How's it going? On this gorgeous, beautiful, God bless day in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. So, my love, this is a beautiful, special pick a card for my gorgeous baby who chose this yellow donut. Um, this is how your boo thinks, feeling about you. Right now, in his heart space, that is until one motherfucker walk in this entire, whole entire planet, okay? So, my beautiful love, without further ado, let's get into it, okay? Because now is the time. <laughs> um, okay, so this is for you, my baby. The secret deep thoughts that your boo thing, the lover on your mind, your crush, your lover is thinking deep down in his heart space. Thank you, creator God, for all the messages that come through. Thank you for universal health care. Thank you for hockey sticks in the winter. Thank you for... Um, baseball bats amen hallelujah okay let's get into it <laughs> where is your cons the cons the cons the cons will tell okay so we're starting off with brazen so this is definitely somebody so he sees you right now in the current energy going with the flow really like going with it i don't know this is really cool actually to me because the best thing that you can ever do in any kind of relationship is always just go with the flow, non-attachment. So every time I see this card, it always gives me like the six of swords vibes, brazen, pr productivity, progress, etc. So this is really great. Perhaps you guys are basing your relationship off of friendship and now it's just like going with the flow and when love comes softly sort of type thing. You know what I mean? When love comes softly, that beautiful, gorgeous, um, I don't know if it's a novel. I think it is. But your guys' relationship's going all good in the hood right now. So that's super dope whenever that card pops up. So we have third house. So you guys are might be chatty Nancy's or your person can be a chatty Nancy. We have Taurus and Taurus. <laughs> wow. Okay. So someone can be a hard worker, super gorgeous, Venus, um, 
yeah, Tauruses are so masculine and beautifully. Does that make sense? So you or your person can be Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or just hard workers, good with money, good with the bag, always pushing forward, stubborn as F. You guys can have these personalities, but the number one most important thing is really good communicators. So that's why I'm seeing like best friends forever. You know, back in the day when we had landlines, well, we still have landlines, but for the most part, everybody used the landline. And you really had to like talk in code when your like parents were right behind you to see. You know, if the, you were up to no good or whatever. That's what I'm getting with you guys. Like, you guys are just great communicators with one another. And I love that. That's the way life should be, you know? Communication is key. Because when you're 90 years old, sitting on that rocking chair, y'all ain't gonna be fucking too much. It's like, your personality is gonna be carrying you. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what's up here with your tarot. How does he feel? Falling in love with you. I'm going to clarify this moon card real quick. Blind men say only fools rush in that I can falling in love with you. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, so what I'm seeing, hold up. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Heavens almighty. Ass almighty. Okay. So definitely you guys are soulmates. Like definitely. That's why you guys are like best friends in the whole entire world right now. That's why you guys communicate so amazing. Cause you guys are soulmates. That's why it was just so natural because for example, for example, uh, my ex was my best friend. I think it was in Sweden. I forget which country, but we were two little white boys and we we're best friends in the whole entire world. And then we moved here found each other in the west coast and was just like we loved each other right away like you follow my ass around all the time and we fell in love because like it was like how do i know you you know what i mean like that sleeping beauty song um i know you i walked with you once upon a dream that song that's how you guys really um correlate and you guys know each other so definite soulmates so that's you guys that's why the connection's so strong um but yeah so what i'm seeing here so much threes you guys working together friendship best friends forever it's just right now in the current energy i'm just feeling like there's a lack of um direction working at it um there's a lack of really where is this going like there's a lack of long-term talk does that make sense like i have a feeling there's a lack of long-term talk and not really having a prominent direction like all you guys know is that you guys want to be in each other's lives that's all you both are mirroring each other you guys both want to be in each other's lives you guys both appreciate each other's company you guys both finish each other's sentences you guys both think the same about certain things like definite beautiful friendship you guys and then we have john travolta here like <laughs> so you guys are each other's wish but it's like like i said the lack of direction and wondering where this is gonna go and how is it gonna go and your person does have a lot of with this moon card a lot of stuff that he has to like, bring out of the closet and address that's blocking his heart chakra anytime there's any kind of shadow work or sadness that we carry from the past it's time to do shadow work put down the gloves and really address why am i not loving this person who deserves so much love why am i not loving them properly and that's where the shadow work comes in so your person actually has a lot of emotional distress blocking their heart that they really need to address so they're up for their due time for a spiritual awakening asap so they really have to go through and that's where you came in like you your initiator activator that is um definitely he's going to be going to a dark night of the soul with this card with this moon card and everything and uh he's due time for a spiritual awakening if he wants to go anywhere with you okay so that is what i'm seeing like he's definitely has to crack open some of that trauma in the heart and address it and realize why he can't love you fully not only you but just anybody in general why can he not love anybody that much even though he knows he's com um, capable. So definitely he's due time for a spiritual awakening ASAP. Wow. And you know what I noticed? This is pile three and there's so much threes. I keep seeing threes working together, working together, working together. This is beautiful. Okay, let's see how he feels. Falling in love. Oh, you guys, this is so fucking amazing like what the hell so yeah lack of direction first and foremost not knowing like 
are we gonna get married? Is this my wife? Um, I don't know if you guys had those discussions yet, but definitely you guys never have never lived together. Like in the past, I think maybe you guys tried to live together. Did something happen? Um, maybe plans didn't fall through, which, you know, it happens. Plans sometimes don't fall through. Sometimes it's for the best because you can't prematurely make decisions based on such a life altering thing because like, that's huge and you don't want to make it premature. You know what I mean? So perhaps somebody in the past kind of like um, decided to take a step back, scared themselves, really scared themselves. Um, maybe you were ready to move in. Maybe he was ready to move in, but you were not ready or vice versa. He wasn't ready. So now in the current energy, I, he definitely feels like he wants to make this work with that nine of cups. He really wants to like make this relationship um, till the end of time. Like he really just wants this relationship to work and to, to become a reality. So he's going to really try with his elbow grease and really try to, um, razzle dazzle some so sort of commitment with you because he sees you as, are you kidding me? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, this is the most beautiful major arcana you can ever get in a love reading is the sun because that's like the happy, happy. And what does everybody want in this life? Yes, peace. But what does everybody want on top? Like bar none, like bar none is happiness, happiness. And that is how this guy sees you with this Rafiki holding awesome. But what's a gun? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so this is how that guy sees you. He sees you as just this beautiful, gorgeous, loving light. So beautiful, so full of life. Um, he just sees you as such a prize. Like, his happiness, like, his wife, his, like, best friend. and Very best friend vibes. Like, it's just so gorgeous, you guys. This guy sees you as the sun, moon, and the stars because we have the star card here. Definitely wants to heal, but he's kind of sus. He's like, man, do you want to heal with me? So there's conversations that need to be had, but with that Mercury in the third house, I have a feeling you guys can really get together, sit together, and really address the fears because this guy is full of fears. He has a lot of fear. He's starting to feel all this love for you. And he never, he tried to resist. He tried to resist this deep, deep love, but it's just like, now he's in it. Like he's in the ocean. Like, he's deep in the ocean, you guys. What's that song? One sec, I'll go. Okay, I couldn't find the song. And that's such a bitch because it's such a damn good song. But, yeah, so this guy, come on. Like, with the sun, the moon, and the stars, he's definitely trying to resist all this beautiful, bursting love and light and gorgeousness within his heart space. Like, yo, sis, you're like his ice spice. You're like his Beyonce. And, yo, everybody loves ice spice because she didn't put out for Drake. Like, that's why he got mad salty and, like, deleted her off his like instagram and stuff like that because she didn't put out so he was like flew her out she didn't put out and then he was salty so he like you know him he's a scorpio he's salty so he definitely he erased her off his instagram friends so yeah you're his beyonce like you're the sun moon and the stars like the sun rises with you and sets with you this guy absolutely loves you so what he's gonna do what's gonna have to happen your ancestors are really gonna have to push him into a spiritual awakening and he's really gonna have to dive into his shadow aspects of really loving you the way you deserve because right now he just physically and emotionally spiritually cannot biologically love you the way he you deserve because he doesn't have the capacity to in order to open your heart to love you got to get rid of all the gray resonance that surrounds your heart chakra and that includes resentment to your parents resentment to your bullies resentment to a work boss deep deep traumas usually are with the parents and with the siblings in the household okay zero to seven so yeah, this guy is going to do it because why? Because he loves you and he sees that that's what's up. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to live on the outside anymore seeing you happy. Like he doesn't want to watch his best friends get married to the love of their lives. Like he doesn't want to be, um, he doesn't want to be this cat lady on the side of the road on the side of a town with like 60 fucking cats. Like he wants to be happy with you. You know what I mean? Because he does see you as a prominent, beautiful staple in his life forever and ever. Amen. And like, that's the way he wants it. Okay. So let's see what your ancestors and creator God have more to say about this relationship. This guy's feeling you like this guy's really feeling you. Like he's like deep in love with you. Like you're his wish come true. You're like I said, you're his Beyonce. You're dripped in gold and sparkly coming out of the ocean. Like you're that bitch soulmate. Wow. You guys, what did I say? Soulmate soulmate pops out. You guys are soulmates. This is a beautiful opportunity of love forever. You guys Ch family, you guys are like family to each other. Maybe you guys grew up together. 
It's just that familiar, ooh, familiar bond, open relationship. So right now there might not be any talk of like a commitment, but you guys are like more like best friends. But with that dating card there, obviously there's like some dating coming up. And then yeah, it'll be just like you guys are gonna start dating again with a new love. And then true love, aw you guys, this is so beautiful, aw destiny, <laughs> this is so gorgeous, this is so beautiful, so if you can stay through his transformation, let him go through his shadow aspects, let him address the demons in the closet, let him go through his like deep dark night of the soul. Yo, this is so beautiful. You guys are going to have a new cycle together of love, a brand new cycle of like a romantic, a romantic, beautiful love. You guys definitely are not finished your love story. He's going to definitely, he's in love with you. Years wish come true. Like I said, the sun card, bitch. Are you serious? Like that's like, this guy loves you with his whole entire heart and soul. He would die for you. He would kill for you. I'm just gonna put this beautiful card up here because that is the most beautiful card in the world. You guys are soulmates. You guys are meant to be together in this lifetime. You guys definitely really wrote each other in each other's charts and we're like, okay, hey, we're gonna link up at this age at this time when I'm done with this karmic partner and when you're done with that karmic lesson and it's just like, wow. So, you know, soulmates go through trans um, mutation and transformations together and that includes like this dark night of the soul. So you guys are definitely meant to with um make it through the rain together you guys uh that mariah carey song and just be compassionate with your person okay what do we have i woke up and you are supposed to be here we are supposed to be together i woke up and you are supposed to be here we are supposed to be together oh you guys that is so beautiful this guy absolutely loves you dick down on a sunday afternoon okay so he's so sexually attracted to you like very sexually attracted to you I try to find you in every woman I date. Nobody's even close. Aw, you guys. This is so cute. Like, this guy, nobody compares to. Your friendship, you guys, is unique and unlike any other. You guys have a beautiful bond you share with nobody else in this whole entire world. You guys made your own heaven on earth. Like, that is so beautiful. I always chose someone over you. I always chose someone over you because I was scared. I always chose someone over you because I was scared. So he definitely was very, very scared. It's like, like I said, you're an activator, my baby. You activated all these shadow aspects within him in order to be at your level. It was like he had to address all these things with that he was putting off forever and ever and you took him to the next level. Like Dragon Ball Z, you know what I mean? Like, um, definitely that evolution. You activated everything within him, which was like, damn, I have to boss up. She's on a whole other level. And it's like, that's what you did. So it chilled them up, which usually happens in soulmates, right? We have many soulmates. It depends who gets their shit together in time of um, union. I seen your message in text, baby, let me chase you. So if you've been really like um, hollering at him all the time, like really out of going out of your way to just really put yourself out there, message him, just back up baby. And don't worry about it right now because like he sees everything and um, give him the space. Let him chase you for now. You did what you had to do and just let him holler at you. You're way the F too powerful. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, babe. So yeah, definitely this guy is really super intimidated. You're on that next level. He's never dated anybody at your caliber. You're a 10, the rest of them were fives. And it's just like, you're this huge tro trophy wife come out of nowhere, you're, you're Sierra. You know what I mean? So it's just like in order for him to be Russell Williams, who was like not intimidated from Sierra who really pursued her because he's a man and he's very secure within himself. Um, little to no trauma. You know what I mean? Um, very much so really trying to get to your level so he can feel comfortable being by your side, walking by your side. Okay. This is so beautiful. You guys, this is gorgeous. Your soulmate journey, twin flame journey is beautiful. Our connection is so beautiful. I never experienced this in my life. What did I just say? I was like, this connection is so beautiful, you guys. This is such a beautiful connection. And then all of a sudden I get this. I never experienced this in my life. Our connection is so beautiful. This is a beautiful connection, you guys. Like, this is such a gorgeous, beautiful connection and opportunity. You just got to be very patient with him while he goes through his dark night of the soul because you're his sierra you're his beyonce you're his god is dripped in gold and he just wants to like lick it all off your ass nice and slowly and just be with you forever and ever so baby congratulations this is a beautiful love and with that card we started off with like everything's going pretty smooth definitely just go with the flow 
Okay, just go with the flow. Know that he does have some demons he has to unpack for a bit, but like, just go with the flow, okay? I love you so much, my beautiful baby. I love you so much, and I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Channel. Hey, my beautiful baby, how's it going? On this gorgeous, beautiful, God bless day in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. So, I just got three stitches in my face. So thank you, Creator God, for the beautiful fast healing. Thank you for universal healthcare. Thank you for gorgeous doctors. And thank you, my ancestor, Red Cloud, for always guiding me through like all of my procedures and my life, okay? Yo, crazy, crazy, <laughs> you're crazy newsome, okay? So yeah, thank you, Creator God, for all the beautiful blessings I come through. And without further ado, drum roll, please, motherfuckers. <laughs> Let's please do this, okay? So this is for you, my gorgeous baby, pile number four, this gorgeous, beautiful donut with the purple filling. Well, not purple filling, the purple, um, whatever the hell this is called. I don't know what it's called. Um, so yeah, so let's get into it. This is how your person, your crush, your boo thing, the person on your mind is feeling about you deep down in their heart space. They don't tell nobody, nobody. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm excited. Pile number four, my beautiful baby. Hope you're having a gorgeous day in this beautiful, beautiful, blessed day. Mr. Rogers neighborhood. Thank you for our safety and all the love that surrounds us. Okay, let's start. All right. So, oh my gosh, get the f, f out of here right now, you guys. Are you kidding me? We start off with my favorite, whole entire favorite card in the whole entire deck of this oracle. Ah! This is such an amazing, amazing card, you guys. Yamaya, Awakening, okay? This is the Brazilian goddess of abundance, pretty much the Lakshmi version, just so fertile moment in your life okay this guy absolutely 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 adores you you're his sierra you're his like serena williams his rachel mcadams like you are that goddess like you're dripped in all this beautiful gold you're just honey you're dripped in that nice tight ass dress he's so in love with you you're just this beautiful goddess that came to earth and just snatched his soul snatched his heart out of his mother effing chest like this guy is absolutely in love with you and this woman's pregnant are you knocked because that's his whole entire like object like that's his the objective of being with you is to make sure that you bear him some babies okay this is so beautiful. This is like the Empress card. So you are definitely a boss ass bitch. You're in your power. You're just this gorgeous, beautiful woman who has it all together or male. And you're just fertile in all areas, like financially, money wise, like every kind of way. So way to really start up the whole entire like reading. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so we have cancer. Okay, why am I not surprised this popped up? She's always like... My cancers are always empresses. We have Pisces and Aquarius. So this is the powerhouse. This is definitely my powerhouse pile because you can be a cancer, Pisces or Aquarius, or you can just have those, um, you can just have the attributes of being very loving, a mother hen, protective to all your best friends, very motherly to everybody you meet. You can be super psychic, um, very Neptunish. You can be an artist, a painter, um, a singer. You can actually have a spiritual shop, a psychic shop. You could be a singer, painter, um, play guitar, whatever. But you do think out of the box. You are very gnarly. You are like somebody who's attracted to like very gnarly habits or gnarly hobbies, you know, stuff like that. So it's just like, this is so beautiful because not only are you super homish and you make people feel like home and protected and you would kill for somebody, like it's just like also at the same time you have this biggest heart. So man, that's the best warriors is when they are like so big hearted they would like fight for their country like that's like you or just kill like you're a mama bear you would just like kill for your children and that's what turns this guy on what better person to knock up than someone who's very territorial over their kids they're right they're cubs like try to take my effing kids ho <laughs> so this is really beautiful you guys okay so we have healing from a broken heart you can just sleep in my bed okay let's figure this out okay so let's do some more in your tarot Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like, wow. Oh my God. Okay, clarify these. Just sleeping with a broken heart. You can just sleep in in my bed. Oh, e, oh, e. Okay, let's clarify these. Ever put it down like you 
You are the crown. You got my body feel heaven bound. Okay, so that's what's up. There's a third party here, you guys. Um, yeah, okay, so there's a third party. There's someone definitely that's um, in your guys's. Then we have ten of wands at the bottom. Um, coming out though so okay so there's a third party here you guys met and it was almost like um, twin flame union it was this is definitely the the energy I'm feeling and just what I'm picking up on this is like a twin flame union wrong time like wrong timing if anything because it was just like very um, like this like fireworks and it was unbelievable and so amazing and it's like how can this happen but at the same time it's like because this is always my twin flame card. Um, very deep, deep healing also. You were going through something that you were healing. Maybe he was going through a divorce. Um, maybe he's still going through a divorce, still going through a breakup. But there's a third party here. So what I'm seeing is somebody was going through a breakup. Someone was going through, in the beginning when you guys first linked up, someone was going through a breakup, a divorce. There was a third party leaving because with this justice card, yeah, definite big divorce vibes. So perhaps your person was going through leaving a divorce or you were going through a divorce, walking away from something that was no longer of service to your life, walking away from something that was no longer of service to his life and um, meeting you then. It was like he met you at that time and it was just like, <sighs> it was just like I'm going through so much right now and I don't know how to make this work okay so that's what I'm getting from this reading you guys he is represented from the emperor okay so he knows what he wants and when he sees and when he likes what he wants it's like nothing can keep him from loving what he wants and he loves you he absolutely is in love with you but it was just like you guys kind of met up in a pickly time because he was one foot out of the door of something that was like done and he's still coming out of it, okay? So he's still coming out of a relationship or he still lives with the person. Um, you're represented from the Queen of Cups. You are represented from the Queen of Cups. This other person might be a fire sign. The reason why he can't give you all the love that he wants to because he is very attracted to you. You're his Sierra, you're his Beyonce, you're his like home, like his home. The reason why he can't though is because he doesn't communicate to you any kind of offer of love. It's because like he can't right now because he's still in the mess. He's still in the, he's still in the front line with the third party person over here who he's like not really enjoying because I kind of get the abusive vibe from her. So it's like um very controlling so um that's what's up so that's really the pickle that y'all are going through is like there's very much a person that's in the vicinity of your guys's love story that's kind of cock blocking your guys's union moving forward so that's a pickle and a nickel because like you know with this um with this community card here this is like a third part this is third parties you know what i mean like three's a crowd so he's i like with this right here it's like it's gonna be a while it's gonna be a while for him to shift out of that third party relationship okay so let's see how he's feeling about you holy shit talk about crazy he doesn't want to like he doesn't look he wants to heal everything look the star card he sees you as a shining star maybe you're instagram famous maybe you have a lot of friends on facebook maybe your selfies are bomb.com you look like a superstar jocelyn hernandez superstar I'm a superstar, baby. Jocelyn Hernandez, you know what I mean? Um, but you are a superstar. This guy sees you as just the most beautiful woman in the world. You're so gorgeous. You're the most beautiful woman in the world. How do you even exist? How do you even love him? Like, you're the finest, hottest, baddest bitch walking, okay? When you walk in the room, all eyes on you, just automatically, because that's how fine you are. God made you that way. You're just beautiful inside and out. You're a superstar, baby. You a superstar. That's how this guy sees you. He also sees you as a baller show caller with Queen of Pentacles. You got your bag. You pay your rent. You make your car payments. Your kids are always dressed in the from the tens up. Like they're always in the best gear at their sports games and shit. You don't need this guy, but you want him. Okay, so you don't need him, but you want him, and that's beautiful. So he does how he sees you as look at look at. All these secrets and lies in this moon card all these secrets all these lies he wants the truth to come on to be like yell on the top of the mountains i love her i love her like i love this woman like i love her i'm in love with you he's in love with you like he's in love with you he wants to be able to one day be proud enough to say that 
Oh, he wants this divorce to end. That's the Hierophant card. So he does hope that he can come out of this because he feels like he doesn't want to get into this relationship with you 100% because it's just like... um. It wouldn't be integral to what he does f for a living. It wouldn't be integral to what he does, whether he's a CEO, a boss. It just wouldn't be honorable for him, whatever he does. He doesn't want to be like, he wants to practice what is preached. He wants to keep his morals and integrity high as well as yours. He respects you to not bring you into this mess. He respects you enough not to make you look like a, um, a tramp. You know what I mean? Like he wants he's to keep your, um, he wants to make you still look like a very gallivant lady, okay? As well as him, like he wants to be able to practice what he preach, do all the steps it takes to fall in love with you the right way because he loves you and he knows that you deserve the best as well as he's just a man of honor. So he needs to get, he needs to do what he's got to do with this, this relationship because this guy's in love with you, but he's not showing affection for you because he needs to get rid of this divorce or third party that he's in so he's at a crossroads your person's a hundred percent in the crossroads okay how else does he feel about you wow yeah he sees you as your his destiny like that you came into a, a time in his life when he needed like a uplifting of like life he wasn't even looking for you it's like trophy wife sierra it's like okay queen of pentacles again bitch you're you have your shit together. Like, you're just like, I was watching a podcast yesterday and this girl was just like, yeah, my job is to stay at home and have his food ready in that lingerie when he comes home. One of the NBA players was like, is that it? I can buy my own food on the way home. Is that it? You got to provide more. You got to be a go-getter. You got to be intellectually smart. You got to be my 50-50. You got to be my business partner. You got to have a backbone. You got to be strong. You got to know who you are and have some shit going on for yourself. And I was like, hey, that's a man. That's a man. That's an alpha male. Because any broad can be fine as F and like offer yeah lingerie and like sure some food some macaroni and wieners but come on really you gotta add some shit to like i gotta be able to have an intellectual conversation with you, you gotta be make me better neil you make me better if all you're bringing to the table is looks and plastic i don't want none of that and i love that he said that that's far from you okay not only do you bring the looks not only do you bring the strength you bring the intellectual chatter you got your own businesses you're a business mind you have your shit together you're a baller show caller you're a go-getter and you're just that bitch when you walk into the room you own it okay so never forget who the fuck you are you are that bitch and you are that trophy wife you do put everyone to shame never forget the power you have like are you kidding me bitch look at you're represented from the most like best card in the whole entire oracle that i've ever seen in my whole entire life like i want to blow this up and hang it on my wall like seriously all right so what else how else do you see about you yeah he loves you baby but look it's like he's he's gonna come towards you in the future but right now it's like he's really like he doesn't want to make a mockery of your guys the way you guys both linked up because like it or not um karma's a bitch you lose them how you get them so we have four of uh, swords here. So he sees, he knows you've been hurt by someone else. I can tell by the way you carry yourself. Well, who sings that? If you let me, here's what I do. I'll take care. Oh, that's Drake and Riri. I'll take care of you. So this guy's just hoping, like deep down, that you're taking care of yourself. The four of swords here. Um, I, he really hopes that you're not waiting for him too much. He really prays because he loves you so much that you're not waiting on him. That you're like, looking after yourself and that you're just loving yourself because this guy's really hoping you're doing what makes you happy because he loves you so much and like. He doesn't want you to be sad. So, bitch, you better be going to the club. You better be going to all those Christmas dinners. You better be, like, fixing up your hair and makeup for no reason. He really hopes that you're healing yourself. He, he, he's sad. He doesn't want you to, like, fully get over him. But, like, right now, he can't offer you anything. He wasn't even looking for you. This is beautiful. This is what I'm hearing. He wasn't even looking for you. He wasn't even looking for you and you just came, woo, you just came out of nowhere. Like, isn't that so gorgeous when that happens? You're not looking for anything and then someone just comes into your life and changes your whole entire life. Like changes your whole entire life. That is what I'm hearing and that is so gorgeous. So you came into this life, I came into this life. You came into his life and you changed his whole entire life. Like that Chris Brown song. 
I just, uh, you changed my whole life. Don't know what you're doing to me with your love. Superhuman. That's the song I'm getting. Okay, so that's the song that I'm channeling for you guys. Is specific. I'm gonna actually download that shit. Superhuman by Chris Brown. You guys gotta listen to that. It's such a good song. Superhuman by Chris Brown. <laughs> with Carrie Hilson. It's right here. It's such a good song. So you came into this life and you just changed him into a way, way better version of himself. Like he evolved like a Pokemon, like Dragon Ball Z, like he evolved into like the next freaking level of powerhouse. <clears throat> All right, well, my babe, let's get into what your ancestors and you, they want you to do in the meantime, between time. Um, actually, let's get some feeling cards. I'm feeling some feeling cards for you. Do, 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 But yeah, you guys were destined to link up. So if you ever think, oh, I wonder like, I wonder why you came into my life. You guys were destined to make each other better, just so you know, okay? Whether you guys end up together or not. Right now, in the, these are all current energy. These are all timeless. Right now, this is the current energy though, okay? No one comes close to you in this town, not even mother effing close. I heard it sing a good song. So beautiful. Okay, what else is this? I seen your messages and texts, baby. Let me chase you. So, so my love. If you've been really reaching out to him, like, just let him be. Okay, just let him be. You're absolutely right. You're my girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. You know when like boys are little and you have no choice to be their girlfriend because they're just like, she's my girlfriend. She's my girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. And it's like, ah, oh, actually, I didn't agree to this. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't agree to this. Okay, what else do we have? You are royalty, you are my BFF, you are my forever queen, my number one, my MVP for eternity. So this guy's absolutely in love with you. Like, do we really, well, I've been saying that this whole time. Like, you're that, you're that bitch. You're like the trophy wife. You're the hottest thing walking. You're the hottest thing out of Miami. Do you realize how fine you are? Cause you're fine as fuck. Okay, what else do we have? Almost done with this green card BS. Maybe this could also be done, almost done with this divorce. Okay? Oh my God, oh my God. Let's get some advice for you to do in the meantime, between time. Like I said, he really hopes that you're like healing and he hopes that he didn't bust your heart up. He's, he loves you, absolutely loves you, absolutely in love with you, but it's like he can't offer you anything right now. Like he just can't. So let's get advice from your ancestors and creator God of what you should do in the meantime, between time. We have star being healing codes. Wounds are being healed, recharging. So right now you're in a time of your wounds are being healed and you're recharging. What the fuck? Why does this look like Dragon Ball Z evolving to the next level, right? Right? <laughs> and then we have Akashic Records. Clearing old stories, releasing past lives, freedom. See, you guys are coming through healing from this relationship. Oh my gosh, my favorite card in this whole entire deck, Akashic Stargate. Aligned with purpose, crossroads, no wrong path. So this guy and you are at a huge, huge, like, huge, I'm putting that there, huge crossroads where you guys both decide each other's destiny because you guys were meant to link up. So it's like, get it, you guys are both healing and getting rid of some past stuff. So him, he's at a crossroads, he has this huge choice, he's getting rid of um, a karmic relationship and he's really at deciding right now what the plan is because he absolutely loves you and you guys look at with all this akashic stuff you guys were meant to like link up you guys were definitely meant to link up but baby give yourself that non-attachment freedom right now because look at he's going to come ahead and decide because he's at a crossroads he's at a much very much so at a crossroads very much so at a crossroads that's really actually pretty dope that those showed up for your advice it's like more, more reassurance they're telling you to just that this love was meant to be. You know what I mean? So what should you focus on? Ooh, support. Your life purpose fully supports you. So whatever you're kind of sus about um, that you think, oh my gosh, I don't have enough money to do it. Your life purpose will support you. That's what always happens when you follow your heart, your ancestors, guidance, everything, your life, the money shows up. Let go and let God walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. What does it say? Releasing, freedom, non-attachment right now. Let go for now and let him come towards you when he's ready. Right now, in the current energy, and with this support, maybe hang out with your friends more, um, open your heart up to other kind of venues of love. Let go and let God, non-attachment. Just put this like love on the back burner for now, babe. Trust, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. So just trust, 
trust moving forward follow your intuition whatever you do my baby is very super beautiful time to decide make a decision based on your heart see this is all about going inside like what does your heart tell you what do the ancestors tell you i'm gonna, I'm gonna pull some grandmother willow right now and you're my pocahontas listen listen to the wind my child and you will understand and this is the part where you fly through the wind and shit <laughs> with Miko and uh, that other little raccoon guy but yeah so this is definitely it's t your time to decide so I'm gonna be grandmother willow to you and I'm gonna tell you to just listen to the wind and you will understand let go let God spend some time meditating just trust like this is all about trust and letting go and letting God this is the freedom card releasing non-attachment just go with the flow right now and decide because look at these are both decision cards you guys both are at this both mirroring each other with this great choice this great choice that you guys both have explore your options like i said get out there get out there start going with your girlfriends go dancing go to some reagan oh my gosh i'm so excited i might go out to saturday ready set go yeah bitch you've been ready so go whip out that that mm -mm, freakum dress and get the hell out there and get dancing and stuff like that you never know what beautiful stranger you can make out with whatever you are thinking in your head right now fuck yes do it go to that invitation go to that concert go with your crazy ass aunties and sisters and get the hell out of the house and get back out there okay because because while you're sad kind of right now in this split with your with your boo thing he's still living with whoever he's living with so please in all in all respects do you okay and when you're doing your makeup your beat and your your hair your wig your weave whatever and dyeing your hair make sure that you're listening to um walking trophy okay walking trophy by hood celebrity because that's what you are you're a fine ass bitch never forget who the f you are Okay, so I love you so much, my beautiful baby, and I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Channel.